All right, guys, so in this video, I am going to be discussing the major MLB stadium renovations that are happening right now as we speak because it is the offseason, some stadiums under construction right now, undergoing some changes. There's only, I would say, one stadium that's going to have a radical, you know, different appearance next year, and that's the first one we're going to talk about. It is Progressive Field. So I've covered this at length, the issue with the shipping containers out in the right field upper deck, the botched renovation where the Guardians at the time, they were the Indians, they went very cheap. They had to remove seats in their upper deck out in right field because the attendance was, was so low and they only used them about two times a year. So they put up the shipping containers. They looked terrible for about eight straight seasons. They were up there and now they're officially gone. They've removed them and you can see what they're going to be doing. It's almost just like a big concert course with solar panels above it. Personally, I'm not a big fan of that design. They are actually adding upper deck seats down the right field line, although it is very hard to tell. And if you aren't really familiar with progressive field in the renderings, you're not going to really be able to tell the sections that they are adding seats. And then if you you look down the third baseline, they're taking about four sections off of the upper deck and doing the exact same thing, kind of adding just an extended concourse area for people to hang out at, possibly more bars and such. The actual capacity of the stadium is going to stay relatively the same because in the seats they're taking out, they're adding some to the other side of the upper deck, if that makes sense. So that is the major renovation of the MLB offseason. It is progressive field. It's going to be better for sure. I don't think there's any way to make it, you know, perfect outside of putting a bar out in, out in the right field upper deck. And the reason that they really cannot do that is because they don't have the attendance for it, meaning the bar would be practically closed about 75 to 80% of the time because the Guardians have attendances that routinely range in the 15 to 20,000 area. They don't open those right field upper deck sections anywho. So having a bar out there would be pretty much useless considering it would be closed during most of the games. But honestly, a bar would look best either. Either way, that is the major renovation. They're also doing some other minor touch-ups, some other minor renovations behind home plate. And also right behind home plate in the upper deck, kind of taking a few seats out there as well. But in terms of something that where you're going to notice a change, it is the shipping containers. They are finally gone. They've already removed them. They started doing that right after the season in early October. And that is the huge MLB renovation. And then the other one, this is a part two renovation because stadiums normally do it in two parts. Progressive Field is actually doing their renovation in two parts. But the biggest part is coming this offseason. The Toronto Blue Jays are finishing the second stage of their renovations. We all know the huge makeover to the outfield where they custom fit the seats and the bullpen to make it a fully baseball only stadium because Rogers Center used to be multi-purpose. They're doing the exact same thing behind home plate and down the first and the third baseline of the lower bull. They are custom fitting all of those seats. They're putting in new luxury seats and that's what they're going to be doing there. So kind of more of a boring, you know, renovation with the Blue Jays. They already did their major one, which I think looks very nice, especially if you look at kind of the standing room areas where they took out some of the seats in the right and left field upper deck area right under the hotel windows. That looks really good. It looks really modern and almost futuristic to me. And just all the different areas they have out there, it looks very, very nice. That's going to extend Roger Center's uh, lifespan, in my opinion, by at least 15 or 20 years. I would expect them to receive an All-Star game very soon. Atlanta, I believe, it was announced a few weeks ago, is getting an all-star game here upcoming. Atlanta already should have gotten an all-star game, but it was moved. Now they're getting it back. But either way, those are the two major renovations that I'm sure a lot of people know about. And then we do have the situation surrounding American Family Field. Oh my goodness. So American Family Field, you know, they threatened to move. They're like, oh, the taxpayers, you got to pay for this or you're going to lose your team. We all know the charade. They end up getting it done. We have not seen any renderings for what they plan to do. I think I know what they're going to do, but this is not a good sign. So apparently this offseason, they are redoing the scoreboard. Now, what is the problem with redoing the scoreboard? It's the location of the scoreboard. One of the renovations I've been begging the Milwaukee Brewers to do is to move the scoreboard out from center field. It is a horrible design. Chase Field has the exact same thing where you have a wall and then a giant vertical scoreboard. It is the most 
ugly thing ever, move it up to right field, completely redesign the seating, and open up center field to let in more natural light, I do think they're going to be changing the exterior glass panels to American Family Field. That's one of the th rumored ideas on what they're going to be doing in terms of the renovation that's going to cost almost half a billion dollars. But this is just demoralizing. They're getting a new uh, scoreboard, a bigger scoreboard, but the problem is that basically tells us that they're not going to be moving the scoreboard. It's still going to be located in center field, which in my opinion is just a horrible design. And I'm surprised more people have not come out against this design that we see here and Chase Field. It's you have the center field wall and then right up against it, you have the vertical scoreboard. It just looks so ugly and it takes away from the ballpark because you're looking straight at a massive scoreboard in center field, and then when a home run gets hit to center field, it bangs off the scoreboard and goes back onto the field. That is so unprofessional for a Major League Baseball stadium, but it looks like they're keeping it, so the new thing that's coming to American Family Field next year will be a new scoreboard in center field. Their major renovations, again, we haven't even seen renderings for them, so I would say their major renovations are going to come next offseason, probably going to be a multi-year approach in terms of that. Next, we do have Nationals Park receiving upgrades for the 2024 season. Nationals Park opening in the mid-2000s, almost 20 years old. They're only getting about 20 million dollars worth of renovations they will be receiving a new scoreboard that's the main part of these renovations when it comes to nationals park there's really nothing crazy in terms of oh this needs to be fixed because it did open in 2008 it's relatively new I've always called it the most average stadium in the MLB it's the idea to where if you took a minor league stadium and expanded it to make it like MLB capacity it would look like Nationals Park I just think it looks very bland personally but they're getting a new scoreboard very likely just a bigger scoreboard taking out all of the advertisements and filling it with just digital space like like most teams do Petco Park is also receiving an exterior renovation. That's another stadium that's getting a slight change for the 2024 season. It's going to cost around $20 million and it will be Petco Park's 20th year anniversary. Some of the renovations to the exterior include a new play ball field, temporary pickleball courts. We know how big pickleball ball has become a fenced off dog park as well and improved expansive playground and play areas with different equipment. So basically, they're building a massive community park surrounding Petco Park. We've seen other teams do this. We just heard the announcement that the New York Mets are planning a big park right outside of their stadium. A lot of these teams really trying to build out the exterior of their stadiums and make them look nice rather than just have a deserted parking lot. And that's another thing, by the way, American Family Field will be doing. I guarantee you they're going to be doing some type of baseball district down the line because they just have a disgusting looking exterior parking lot. But I digress, guys. Those are the major renovations that are coming for MLB stadiums in 2024. Now, if you want to talk about the dialogue, Dialogue surrounding the next teams to get renovations. I think looking at a 1A team in terms of a potential renovation, it would be the Arizona Diamondbacks. We just saw the Arizona Diamondbacks make kind of a Cinderella run to the World Series. They lost it, but they're going to try and utilize that hype around possibly getting, you know, taxpayer funded, at least partially taxpayer funded renovations to Chase Field, where I do expect them to completely overhaul the upper deck. That's probably the next stadium to get renovated. They have threatened to leave. But this is something we hear over and over again. We just heard it with the Milwaukee Brewers. If they want taxpayer money, they'll just threaten to leave or relocate the team, possibly to Scottsdale, and then they'll get the money. I do think that Chase Field will be getting a renovation within the next few years. Another stadium I've, I've long wondered is Comerica Park. Can we please help Comerica Park out? I mean, my goodness, they keep changing the fences, but they won't, won't renovate the stadium. They've got the disgusting, ugly wall out in center field. Let's put some money. Let's invest some money into the stadium. It's old enough at this point to at least give it a 30 or $40 million renovation where you custom fit the fences with the wall. Uh, that, that's another stadium that hopefully will be getting a renovation in the coming years. And then you also do have the Las Vegas A's saga, we're not exact. I mean, this is just, it's extracting teeth with this thing. They were going to release the renderings, I want to say a week ago, 
and then they postponed releasing renderings because of a local tragedy in Las Vegas, and they did not put a date on when they're releasing their new stadium renderings. Maybe it'll be today, maybe it'll be tomorrow, nobody really knows, but it is very strange. This thing is dragging and dragging and dragging. I'm guessing they were waiting for winter meetings to end to take up all the spotlight, but now that you know they're over, they're coming to an end, you would think that the renderings would be released. Either way, we will see on that. But guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you're following me on X. Link to that's always in the description.